Hi, I'm Tucker Thompson from T2P TV, along with David Edwards from Heron Financial Group Wealth Advisors. And David, here we are, the final day of the BBI Spring Regatta and Sailing Festival. I think it's fair to say this regatta has it all. We've had parties right here at Nanny Key, of course, every single night. Distance racing, round the buoys action, a race all the way to Norman Island, a beach party, a fashion show last night. But it's been exciting to see this regatta through your eyes the first time that you've done this event. What did you think? Sure, Tucker. Uh, whenever you come to a new venue for the first time, you don't really know what to expect. And I, I have to tell you that the uh, sailing out in the sound here, different islands, protected waters, very hospitable, even to novice sailors. But then the, uh, the hospitality of the venue has been spectacular. We have a marina right behind us. We have a hotel over here. There's a restaurant over in that direction. The beach event's just beyond. So you don't need to waste time trying to find the parties. You just get your shower, get your drink, and go play with your friends. It has been a really good week, and of course, Nanny Key makes it very efficient. And the racing is only a few hundred yards that way as we join the action on the water. Less than a quarter mile from the comfort of Nanny Key Marina, conditions out here are quite different. Over 20 knots of breeze, gray skies, and big seas. As the fleets approach the starting line, it's going to be a long race and a long day for them. The course will take the fleet around multiple islands before finishing right back here off of Nanny Key. For some, the day is going to be a lot wetter than others. Trouble for Paladin, they have slammed into the committee boat and are out of the race. Speaking of damage, we've caught up with Ayana, the biggest boat in the fleet. Head still trouble, they're still on course in the race, but with only the main. Finishing one and two in their division last year, EHO one chases Northern Child on the reach and it's close. Christian at the helm of Northern Child tries to hold EHO one off. There's the overlap to Windward. Look at him go. They could pass him right here. Sagravostos lazy dog. He was racing El Ocaso, but damage took them out of the race. He's in first place, and it's going to be a long beat around Peter Island. CSA fleet heads offshore. We moved inshore from some excitement right off of Nanny Key and some one design racing as well with the IC24s and Spinnaker Racing 3. How about that? It's been a long race, but a good one for Lazy Dog taking line on. And Spinnaker Racing 3 is off. Upwind, the breeze has built, peaking well over 20 knots. The waves 
race and pretty big as well for this, the longest race. did not pay off for Intac, who went into this race five point advantage. St. Croix's Boogaloo was within striking distance. They like the short course races. They'll have a disadvantage on this race. It's a shorter course for the IC24's Island Water World has been leading the division. They put the spinnaker up, had trouble, and it's been passed by two boats downwind. The spinnaker works. They're back out in front, but the pole just dropped in the water. The kite's only halfway down. Crew work is stressful at this point, and the other two teams are right on their heels. Having rounded Peter Island and past EHO1, it's Northern Child out in front of their division as they head to the finish. This team is full of half guests and half pros. Let's see how they handle the job. Pretty darn well, I'd say. Island Waterworld maintains their lead to win this last race in the IC24. And for David Edwards and crew aboard EH01, it's been a fantastic week. And here's Team Intac after regaining the lead in the Melgus 32's Spinnaker Racing 3, planing downwind towards the finish at full speed. With that, Mark Plaxton and crew aboard Team Intact win the final race and the PBI Spring Regatta. And that wraps up the racing for the 42nd annual BVI Spring Regatta and Sailing Festival. But the regatta is far from over. The party on the beach tonight is one of the biggest events of the year on Tortola. We hope you've enjoyed our coverage all week long. And of course, we'd like to thank David Edwards and Heron Financial Group Wealth Advisors for making it possible. I'm Tucker Thompson for T2P TV. I've raced sailboats competitively for many years. In any endeavor, experience matters. Success in sailing is based on balancing risk and reward, and it's just the same in investing. We build all-weather portfolios to achieve our clients' dreams. Everyone knows it's been a stormy five years in U.S. financial markets, but I'm proud to say that our clients are doing just fine. I'm David Edwards, president of Heron Financial Group Wealth Advisors. 
To learn more about how our investment plans can benefit you, call me today. You're watching T2P TV.